So I've decided um, in my cow uh, animation, I'm going to turn it into a space cow game with lots of stars. So the first thing I do is make the background black and I can make the stars white and make them smaller. So we've only got one star at the moment. And if, if I want this to be controllable, I can use there's lots of um, inbuilt uh, variables and functions in um, p5.js and so on the y value here I could change this to mouse y you can see it goes red and now um, I've got a controllable cow but I need I need lots of stars so I need a um, list for my stars so I'm gonna say uh, var stars equals that and so in my setup um, I need a repeat loop uh, which looks like this for and then start curly braces end curly braces and this needs three things it needs a variable called uh, that doesn't have to be called I it can be called anything um, but people often use I um, uh, for incrementer this is this is the variable that's going to um, change every time around the loop and semicolon and then we need the next thing when do you want to stop and we could say okay well what keep going whilst i is less than a thousand and okay what do you want to do every time around the loop and there's a programming trick where plus plus adds one onto the number so this will start at naught uh, we can actually say var r like that um it'll start at naught keep going until a thousand adding one in each time so the first thing i'm going to do is get my stars variable and say get me and this is how you get an item out of a list the zero item that means the first one because lists start at zero um, all start at zero for some strange reason um and we can uh, then put something into that first item so i'm going to put into it um, another list and the first item is going to be an x value for a star um, and i want that to be a random number anywhere on screen um, so random width and then the next one i want to be random anywhere so we've got a y value and then I want a, uh, um, a random size between, I'm going to say, somewhere between two pixels, uh, maybe three, and let's say um, 10. So we're creating a list and putting it into the first item of the list. So we'll have a list of a thousand stars um, all with a random X, a random Y, and a random height. Yeah. So now I'm going to copy this line here. And instead of just drawing one ellipse like this, I'm going to draw all the ellipses like this. So the first thing we need to do is, is say, OK, well, uh, oh, one thing that I like to do is, is to make it easy to read. I go var star, so just one star equals stars i oh yeah that's what we should have done here i right so, so <laughs> i made a mistake there that wouldn't have worked that would have just repeatedly set the first item until we do only had one star so here we go so we get that list that we've put into every single item and then we can draw an ellipse by going uh, star and getting the first item out of the list and then star and getting the second item out of the list and then setting its width to be and height to be the third item and the third item again and then what we might do is move the star leftwards okay 
So if we talk to the stars, <laughs> and we're talking to star I, so we want to say we want to to set the first item of that star to be equal to the first item of that star. So equal to yourself, but take ten off. Uh, no, let's take off the width, because then the bigger stars will move quicker. Yeah. And then let's, because when we do animations like this, eventually it'll get to zero and be off the screen. We can, we'll do a little check in here. We'll say if um, star um, stars i, if your first value, your x value, is smaller than naught, then set your value to equal the width. So so kind of if you go off the, the, the left hand side of the screen, set it to the right hand side. And we've got a bug in our code here. Um, now, what's it complete? Let's wiggle here. Unmatched braces. Uh, here we, that's probably here. There. So that needs to match with that, and that needs to match with that, and then this one needs to match with that one. So let's see if that even works. Hey, there. Now can you see the the smaller stars? Uh, maybe too many stars there. Let's um, let's initialize um, this to five hundred, and this will break it. Watch this. If we if we only put five hundred in, then at this point it says. I can't I can't find because we've got the same number here yeah so instead of using a, a hard value here hard number what we could do is say stars length so now whatever number of stars we put in this will this won't break so we've now got a cow um, flying in space uh, I seem to have, but when I draw the cow um, where am I drawing the cow uh, image cow here. Um, this needs to be um, mouse. Why? So now we've got a cow controllably flying through the depths of space. So um, the source code for cows in space, if you wanted to use that as a starting point, um, Yeah, is there. Um, and if you want, uh, as long as you um, um, uh, sign in, uh, register for this for the site, you can then duplicate any code and change any of the, um, you might say, well, uh, the space that I'm in is uh, cyan um, and stars are red. Um, so. Uh, and start to adapt this, um, or, or or not. Um, but also, other people's source code, fantastic, is here. Uh, there's a, a generative uh, website where there's lots of um, examples. Um, I seem to have clicked on there. Um, here we go. Uh, lots of examples uh, that are, are sort of short. Um, yeah, I mean, also, this is an interesting thing. I've got a grid of interactive, and I can open this in the P5.js editor. Uh, there's lots of comments at the top uh, showing how to use it. And then here's the source code for that. Um, it's mainly about, I can press different keys. Um, so one to seven, or arrows up and down. Uh, one. I can't seem to get the, oh yep it gets thicker look and so that changes the way it looks yeah okay right um but there's also um a great collection here of um no wrong one um of sort of all the small things uh, that people quite often use so if you were interested in um um it in working with wrecks or noise or lines then glitch is a site that um it sort of goes to sleep every time um um, 
it's not being used uh, but then but you can still you can get you can see the um, what it does um, in a new window here there you go so this is a cool animation that you could use for all sorts of things um, and then here's the clock here's the uh, code so you could either um, remix this to make your own version on glitch or you could copy and paste this into um, the p5.js editor or even open processing um, all great places um, CodePen is another place where uh, there's lots of great uh, examples and um, you know things like this um, and again you can sort of so there's loads of great um, bits of code going on there that you can explore and learn from um, in the p5.js website itself um, um, p5.js um, there are lots of examples and the reference um, so if we're interested in smoke particles which is kind of drawing lots of blurry screens blurry pixels um, we can then learn about that and again copy and paste this code into the editor if we wanted um, but the, the place that I learned um, and probably lots of people have learned is the incredible uh, Dan Schiffman um, is that him there yeah hit lots and lots of videos um, so um, that take you step by step Hello. bing isn't he fantastic it's time it is, it is time shapes and drawing. Let's see. So he explains uh, things with a whiteboard and then gets down yeah. to the code. So, and all of these um, code uh, lessons are available on GitHub for you to download if you want to use them. Uh, so, yeah, there's lots of places where you can. Um, I, I, oh, I think I forgot to say, I think you can even get to examples from the menu in the editor um, and so here I might be interested in um, convolution re or frequency modulation um, so um, so this is generating a sound based on my mouse position um, so there's loads of places where you can go and learn processing um, um, yeah so um, start slowly and uh, have a go. Uh, I both like learning uh, lessons, uh, if you like, how to do something, but I also just like hacking people's code. Both are valid ways to uh, pick up the skills.